welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode seven of season one of Chilling of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, this time, the title of the episode is a Feast of Feasts. <laughs> that really that that's a tricky thing to say. But anyways, here I am to do my reaction for episode uh, seven of season. Um, of, of season one, the last episode, uh, I was really shipping Zelda and Miss Warwell, because why not? And then you also have, uh, what is it that she really is doing? And when I was editing yesterday, you know, she said, oh, I'm here, uh, due to your dad's order to, uh, protect you and blah, blah, blah. And then, uh... In a way, she is protecting Sabrina, in a way. So what if, you know, the dad is actually, you know, the Dark Lord? I don't know. It's, you know, Sabrina's dad. I, who knows? Uh, but I'm here to enjoy uh, season, uh, episode 7. I hope that you guys are excited as well. So yeah, please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Sabrina. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below. All your thoughts about this episode. If you're watching this I, on YouTube, everything went right. When you're watching this, all episodes, including the Christmas special episode for Sabrina, is already posted on Patreon. Uh, so if you're interested in watching that before anyone else, you can do that. Support the channel. You get full on cut reaction videos uh, and a lot of more good things. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode seven of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Did you say hi? Sure. <laughs> uh, what? Actually, what the Harvey, fuck? I forgot. See what's going on. Bye. <laughs> Sabrina. Bye. <laughs> I love it. What the fuck is that? It's a message from the council, Sabrina. What? It means our family's been selected to participate in this year's Feast of Feasts. Feast of Feasts. Feast of Feasts, Sabrina, is one of our coven's holiest holidays. Okay. It's to save her coven. Which I is? Sister Freya. And we meet again. Who's Freya? A from the originals? Oh yeah, true. Centuries ago, the fourteen women threw the cold months into the spring. So they were nice can. Wait, are we okay. seriously talking about cannibalism? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Feast of Feasts is well. an annual demonstration of our devotion to the Dark Lord. Traditions are weird, man. From the coven. Queen is eaten. And what? Is participate in this? Willingly? It's yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Our obligation is participating. Yeah, no. Serving no. anymore. And yeah, true. We're talking about murder here. The ritual sacrifice <laughs> is slightly different. I will represent the family at tomorrow night's drawing. No, 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 no. Zelda. We can't lose our yeah. or Sabrina. What? But your aunt Hilda and I have participated. Oh, in she's crying. Stop it, Hilda. And the Dark Lord has never. Seen fit to reward us with being queen. But I bet this year he will. No to believe this. She's nervous as well. Don't I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait protecting Sabrina. It's what the fuck? Week class, and I want to talk about Ooh, you, this town, and each other. Wow. Better. <laughs> it's such a scary cat. Could do some research if you like. That would be great. Oh my god, Ms. I love her. Well, and I'll do the same. What is her name? Actual, like her actual Thank name. Yields anything I've loved. Grandpa, <laughs> I'm supposed to write a She's paper. So extra, I love street. it. Have we always been minor? Wear men's clothing, I guess. Yeah. Those will be. Are you trying to tell me this is hereditary? I'm all the way through on myself. Anna Root, you want to be sacrificed? More than I've ever wanted anything in my life. But that's This girl's insane. so weird. Why? You said it was barbaric. Yeah, so true. What's happening again? Well, Blackwood reinstated it the year he became high priest. You're not a tribute, are you? No. So this is like the Hunger Games? Forth. Let the Dark Lord's will be revealed. Stop! Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Sister Zelda, is there a problem? Ooh, I love from the camera. Did you see that? I went from from Sabrina, from Blackwood no, to Zelda. My brave Oh shit. That backfire your paper. That backfire. Hi, right, Jesus Christ, stop doing that. Whoa, what happened? Oh my god, Sabrina. Oh my god. She's crying! Prudence is queen! Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was Sabrina. Why was. Can you wish? No, really! Wait, what does he mean the red? Why is. Earth's red? What on earth is happening? He's gonna get eaten! Prudence is happy about this. Are they gonna just, like, chop, like, one of her. Oh, you or something how like that? You came to be sacrificed. You must indulge the queen's every whim. Great. <laughs> spoil the girl who harrowed me. Yeah. Well, I with figs and wild berries to sweeten her meat before the feast. Oh my god. Ambrose. Yeah, oh, it's on, not. It is. It's so cool. So I'm feeling loud. Like you having an orgy, okay? I don't know what they are doing. I invited him in. Just the two of us. So uh, Ambrose is bisexual. Uh, 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 you're kill I love that. I love that they are playing criminal. That reminds me of American Horror Story. And seduce. <laughs> Who knows, Prudence? Maybe you'll find the meaning of life at Baxter High. No, you had me at boys to torment. <laughs> Ms. Woodwell, pardon the uh, intrusion. Get out. Ooh, look at her. She's, she's a dream, I swear to God. What can I, um... Plans for the holiday weekend? Oh, get out! She has a girlfriend. It would be... You've promised me boys. <laughs> so, what are we talking about? <laughs> Prudence. Uh, Your family committed atrocities and blood atonement is to man. Kidding. Oh my god, prudent. <laughs> uh, I am going to show her. <laughs> but we will see you guys later. <laughs> oh my god. Looted. Girls. Girls. <gasps> Woo! There she is. Let's not be catty bitches. <laughs> I'm Sabrina, aren't you gonna? Introduce me to your new gal pal. <laughs> Seth is not a gal pal. I know it's tradition, but... What if she's not at home? She's always at home. Isn't that right, Desmelda? Desmelda! What is it? Oh, God. Like you. And seek counsel. What the fuck? Desmelda. I've dreamed about it. Why can't you accept that? What have you done? Who else have you brought to this? Ah! What on earth? Who would do such a thing? What the clock he wanted. Oh, they're clocking. Okay. She wanted for her to see him. Blood stops here. Oh my god. I love it that though. Planning to take what belongs to my children? They would have done what? nothing. Hurt them. Curse them. So I had to hurt them first. Oh! Kill one, and the others are no threat. Consequence. Oh, so she gave her. That is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do you mean by her children come first? That's why she's gonna kill Prudence. They could all make a play for the seat. Now this is Game of Thrones. What the hell? Black who's like Robert Baratheon having a lot of bastards out there. Prudence, I need to talk to you. This school, everything. But you'd have to get rid of his legitimate heirs first. Stop what? This. What is she Please doing? Like, Lady she's putting for you. the babies in danger. If you were sac- She gonna kill the, the principal?
Ben! My. It looks like a heavy pizza. Wait, is it Wouldn't him? Setting it over there for me. Is it you from Riverdale? Mm. So glad. I'll miss you when you're gone. Won't we? In body and soul. <laughs> Mostly <laughs> body. I'll miss you so much. Me too. I won't. <gasps> Woo! <coughs> <coughs> what? And why is that? Your state sisters are your seed. Because you oh my are God. a gracious slut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and that means She's trouble it. for my children. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh oh, oh, let's ask him something. Let's ask him something. How dare you interfere with the Dark Lord's will? Have you any idea the scandal, the blasphemy you've brought upon the church? <laughs> oh. I am. <gasps> oh and my God. Mother? By your hand, Sabrina. Oh. Indirectly. Because I would not marry her. Oh my God, he's fighting the truth. I see. I've been fasting for days. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Freya lives. Pray, Satan. <gasps> 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 What the fuck? Well, I guess we can eat her. What did the fuck happen? Are they gonna eat her? What is the eye, Dio Mio? These crazy people. What the fuck? This is violent. That was crazy. <laughs> Blood demands blood. They're gonna kill Harvey and... Oh no. Oh my god. Let sticks and stones break the witch hunter's bones. Maybe it's for the dad and the grandfather. Okay, guys, that was the end of season one, episode seven of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And uh, yeah, this was a good episode, mostly because, you know, it involves all rituals and also like the history of the town of, of Greendale. And, you know, now we know why is it that we they, they chose to have Sabrina had this um, uh, friends, you know, uh, and how ironic it is that uh, this uh, friends come from a line they, they, that is di affected directly from um, the witches and the history that we know, but that they don't know, you know. So the King calls before they were the Von Kungles or something like that. And they were witch hunters. Uh, meaning that the fact that they took the mines, they actually took it from the witches and killed the witches that lived there. And yeah, they killed them and, and took over the mines. And uh, now the last... Uh, uh, family member, you know, uh, Harvey, he just doesn't have it in him to kill not even um, um, a deer, you know, he is not a hunter. Uh, for him, he's not a, like a deer hunter or anything, but for Sabrina, it means that maybe he, if he's not able to kill an animal and he's compassionate enough to not kill an animal, uh, of course, he's not gonna go around killing witches. Now, it's very interesting because he is in love with the witch, even though he doesn't know about it. Um, the only thing that I will complain about um, Sabrina and Harvey is that they feel very... There's no much um, like excitement for, for their relationship. But I also, at the same time, like the fact that they are part of this story and they are not just there to serve 
as a love interest. So, you know, some things are good, some things I'm not very excited about. Um, but yeah, they, they just seem to fit, they fit, and it's just, it's too simple, you know, there's not a lot of excitement for that relationship. They look cute, they are adorable together, but there is nothing more there. Uh, but maybe now that we know that he comes from a family of uh, of hunters, it will present a, a, a threat. How is it that uh, Zelda and, and Hilda don't know about it, but Prudence does? It's kind of crazy because it, it feels like she learned this in the school and Hilda and Zelda were at the same school and they don't know about the the history of the town and, and who is who and things like that. So we'll see how they work that out. Um, the only other thing that, you know, then we know uh, Rob's uh, grandmother, which she's also blind, and it says that they were cursed by the witches uh, but that gave them a sixth sense or something. So the, her family is also linked to, um, her family is also linked to the witches and to, you know, the entire story of Greendale. And then you have Susie's, uh, story, which I don't know if I am liking it, uh, a lot. It's just that, you know, in this episode she did, like, the, the grandma say, oh, who's this nice young fella? And when Ross corrected her and said, no, it's actually her and her name is Susie, she was like, it's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, so if you are trying to say that she might be trans, I don't think they're doing a good job other than like just hinted at it. Um, but I don't know. Also the fact that what her uh, great, great, great grandmother or something like that, uh, she was more of a tomboy and like, uh, and now we know also know that her uncle Jesse as well he was uh, either gay or or trans, no, not trans, he, at least he didn't transition, but that he had his demons, whatever, you know. Um, but the thing is that I don't know if I like the fact that it, they make it seem like it's something that she, like, is it heredit hereditarian? Is that the word? But, like, it comes from generation after generation, and that is the reason why she is uh, or why she has this, uh, feelings and, and, and I just, I don't feel like they are treating the story with justice and, and actual, you know, uh, story, but I feel like they are just digging too deep into the, oh, she is, she might be trans, her aunt or her, her uncle used to dress with, with, uh, uh, women's clothes so maybe that's where it comes from and like oh and their ancestor was also a woman who dressed more main, mainly which you know the reason why the dad said oh she maybe have done that because it was safer for a woman to dress like that dressing as more masculine or more feminine it's not it just doesn't mean that you are trans or that you are gay you know, it's just, you know, why, why it has to be a statement? Like, uh, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. But so I, I, I'm not really getting in touch with that story as I feel I should be, you know, so either way. Um, then, uh, of course we have the whole story with the queen of, of the feet, the fist of fists. I don't know how to pronounce it. It is very tricky to pronounce feasts. feasts. With that S at the end, it's very complicated for me. But uh, they chose Prudence. Prudence thought, oh, it's, you know, the Dark Lord. But I, I feel like, you know, Prudence truly believed that. 
and she was she had a she she was faithful she had faith and she believed in what the uh the black black word black one i don't know but the dude uh the high priest told her in the dark lore that is what he wanted and it's interesting that you know yes sabrina shine a line onto the fact that this could be anyone else's uh, doing not necessarily the dark lore so um, I don't know I think that it's important to uh, my mom is calling me but it's important that you know we see this and she's she's trying to break her faith and that little part I didn't like because she is that is her religion and that is what she believed yeah I'm glad that she found out that it was an actually the dark lore but it was you know lady blackwood uh saying doing this because she feels like prudence presents a threat to her children um which is it's honestly it's sad that prudence has lived as an orphan and like and he was always there and he was like a father to her but he never actually you know um uh, came out and say oh she's my daughter and things like that you know which it's so crazy but and even even so like it's very hard for me on game of thrones to hear the word bastard and things like that and especially in something like this that is set in mo modern time modern time to say that bastard and like not legitimate and things like that is just i don't i don't really like it like i can understand on game of thrones Due to the era and to the, the time that they lived, but now I just I really didn't feel like the war was well used, I, you know. Um, but honestly, this episode was about you know uh, testing the faith of everyone, and I like the fact that also you know Aunt Zelda was like, I don't know what she will have done if she will have. I know that she will go through great lengths length. To save Sabrina because she loves her niece and she will she don't doesn't want anything bad to happen to her and like the fact that she even chose the um, the to to pick to be part of the lottery thing uh, was because she didn't want Sabrina to be there and then Sabrina challenged her and she was like whatever and took off and like thankfully it wasn't uh, her um and it was prudence and and at least she was safe but she said i wouldn't be able to let people do to you what they did to this other mildred i think uh but this this crazy idea that um it's fate usually happens like that even you know um uh me as a, as a catholic um you pray well i don't pray that much you know but like you believe in saints and you believe in this and that and you do penitence and you you know you believe that they are the ones who ask him when you ask for a miracle and if it's granted you believe even more and if it's not granted you say oh well they maybe i have done something bad to not deserve that so it's very much that is how religion works uh, and and I it was very interesting to see it here as well so yeah I really like that I really enjoy the entire episode it was very good uh, and now we have another why what happened to the camp campers campers the ones that got killed what what is going on is it really uh, uh, there also was that guy Ben that I have seen him on Riverdale right I, I must have and like now he's inside of Warwell's house and probably just gonna do something nasty to the poor boy uh, that we don't know of and uh, but I, I still love Miss Warwell I think she's such a compelling character and her, her, the way she walks and talks and 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 it's just so delicious to watch you know it's an amazing performance the actress is doing just amazing from that teachers that we saw to this bombshell of uh, of a teacher now and she's just like so subtle and, and and almost like a cat you know very 
light in the way she walks and the way she talks and and uh, I just I love her I just love her and I love her and I love Aunt Zelda as well which I am shipping that and if anyone knows if someone else is shipping that shipping them what will the ship name be I don't know but I want to find out anyways so we are four episodes more and we will be done with uh chilling adventures of sabrina but this is that's it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed it please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love sabrina subscribe for more comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode go to patreon to watch the full uncut reaction video by the time this is posted on youtube uh by the time this is posted on youtube all the episodes are already posted on patreon so if you want to check them check them out and support the channel you can do that by going there link as always will be on the description down below so yeah that's it thank you so much guys for watching i will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for sabrina Mwah. bye guys